So I was told not to come downstairs and now I'm told I can come downstairs. By the way, good morning. Let's see. Where am I going? Really hard. Click on top of the bag. Oh. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. You are one special mother and I'm so and I'm one special child. Let's play a game with M and M's. Bright and wild. Pick a candy, any color will do, and answer the questions through and through. First, you pick a candy and take a turn. Then I will choose one and the answer you'll learn. Have fun and be silly. Get to know each other well. And to each other, I love you so much. Don't forget to tell. There's my M&M's. Oh, Ethan, come here. Let's play. Come here, Ethan. Why don't you go in there? I feel like I'm about to pass out. Why? Because this one thing that, that I'm battling is really hard. This one vase that I have to battle is really hard. I hate it. Well, I'm sorry, dude. My haircut. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. What is one of your favorite things to do with me? You tell me first and I'll tell you. I'll go first. My favorite thing to do with Ethan is to cuddle on the couch and watch movies and go places and have fun and be silly. Like today we're going to the Science Center. I like doing that. What's your favorite thing? Like I, I like hugging her. You like hugging me? If Thanks. you could go anywhere with me, where would it be and why? The city museum because it's fun. The city museum because it's fun. Okay. Sorry. Your turn. I would go on a vacation with Ethan to anywhere and take lots of pictures and have lots of fun. Where do you see me in 10 years? Oh, where uh -oh. do you see me in 10 years? Being like Randy? How about married? Married? Maybe another kid? I would hope so, otherwise we're not going to have any. <laughs> <laughs> so in 10 years, how old will I be? Uh, young. 39. 39? That's still pretty young. That is still pretty young. Okay, so where I see Ethan in 10 years. Ethan, how old are you going to be in 10 years? 19? I, I bet. Car. You see yourself driving a car? I see him driving a really nice car also. And then going really fast. And going really fast, but obeying the law because he better. And not going really fast. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't have a car. And also, I see him going to college. Name three reasons why you love me. He said, I'm nice, kind, and I like you. Like you? You mean love. <laughs> Three reasons I love Ethan is he's smart, just like me. You're not that smart. I'm smarter than you. <laughs> he's smart, just like Randy. Exactly. He's really good at making me smile, and I love him. Ask me any question you would like. Uh, Come over here. What question would you like to ask me? Do you... Uh, wait, could it be a rather? Would you rather? Sure. 
Would you rather have a dog or a turtle? A dog. A turtle. You would rather have a turtle? Yes. Seriously? Yes. So I could play the banjo on him. The banjo. What's the banjo? Or ba I don't know what it's called. Banjo. Banjo. How do you play the banjo on a turtle? Well, um, the things, well, the things that are like drums. Bongos? Yes. Okay. Okay, Ethan. What? The last thing is hum a tune and see if I can guess it. What? Hum a tune and What's see. That? Hum, like, oh, hmm, 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 hmm. Like that. I don't know, I just don't like doing that. Okay, well, hum a tune or sing one and see if I can guess it. Do it again. Does this song have words? No. No? No, I made it up and you gotta guess the name. You can't get Ethan's mash. <laughs> yes. Okay, I win. So thank you, Ethan. Come give me a hug. Come give me a hug. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my goodness. We are at the science center right now. Here's the back side. The front side is much cooler, I promise. <laughs> so there's a walkway right there. We will definitely show you. It will go over the highway. It's pretty cool. There's the walkway. And it tells you what's in the Omnimax up there. See? Look, you're doing it better this time. Are you going to do it? Small steps. Small steps. Like you're running. <laughs> That's the laws of physics. The wheel? Yeah. yeah, the wheel. The wheel makes all those balls that go all the way around here. So Ethan and I are gonna do the gravity wheel. Well, gravity wheel. And we're gonna put our pennies in here and they're gonna go in a circle into the black hole. Ethan's penny's gonna go first. And then my penny. So, let's see who's winning. Ethan's winning. Oh no, what are you doing? Wait, save your pennies. Why would you do that? You do this. Okay, they're going at the same time. Pretty much. Wow. 
Now they are doing blood. See, they did how many milliliters or microliters? And this is like a blood transfusion. And then there's a whole bunch more down here. We are taking, we are testing Miss Lee's blood out of their fridge. Who's Miss Lee? She is our patient for a hip replacement. Oh. Okay. We are. Is that real blood? Yes, that's her blood. Oh, that's Squeeze right. five drops of Mrs. Lee blood into both. It actually does look like real blood. How does it look different? How does it look different, Ethan? Well, it's a little watery. Orange. I mean, if you look up here, that's more smooth. This one's more. Oh, yeah. Not. The antigens on the surface of Miss Lee's red blood cells react to the antibodies in the serum. There will be clumpy. Do you notice any clumpy? Yes. I do. Clumpy. On B. Okay. Hit next. That's a good You want to turtle that big? Look, there's me, Mom. Those are beautiful fish. Can we get one of those kind of things? That's bigger than you. I know, I could ride on that one and that one. I could just go. Along the top, I have these little holes drilled. Those little holes allow the gas to escape so that when I light it on fire, it produces these little baby flames. 
Now, that's not the cool trick. The cool trick comes from these speakers. These speakers are will be pumping sound waves into the balloon. And what that does is it causes the balloon to vibrate, kind of like an eardrum. And as it vibrates, it actually pushes on the gas inside of the tube, creating waves, like, like a wave pool at a water park. Now, the first thing I want to do is show you some annoying sounds. This is just the demonstration part. You're going to see what sound waves look like. Are you guys ready? Oh, no. 
gonna race. Oh, 
Hold on. All right, it's on. This is me gonna eat some astronaut food. Astronaut food. Let me see that bag. You know, true mother. Astronaut. For, uh, chocolate ice cream with chocolate chips. Like <laughs> Freeze dried bread to eat chocolate ice cream with chocolate chip. All right, let's try it. How is that not melting? It is. Luckily, it's in a container because we got a blizzard. This is astronaut food. Let's taste it, Ethan. Can I have a piece? Give me a little one. Gee, you're generous. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I didn't even get a piece chocolate of chocolate ice chip cream in it. Or chocolate I guess cheese. I'm getting chocolate ice cream. <laughs> so, what do you think, Ethan? Oh, give me a big one this time. Wow, that's kind of almost like puffy. It's hard to tell. So, you like, don't know if you like it? Man, it's light. I guess that it has something to do with being an astronaut and being up in space. It needs to be light so you can float around a lot. Just put your mouth in your mouth. More? Put your mouth in your mouth. It tastes it kind like. of like, um. Chalk? No. That's what it looks like. Kind of tastes like, you know, like the top of the ice cream sandwiches? It kind of tastes like that. Oh. Here we go. Astronaut food. I don't know if I'd have a steady diet of it. <laughs> okay. You're good. You can move the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a gift in there from... So Nana, what? aka Mama, is going to open up her gifts. And I just ran three two liters of a Dr. Pepper. What? I ran three two liters of a Dr. Pepper. Oh. Yep. Oh. Aww. I feel like I'm still running. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Take your big ones past fire there, Randy. <laughs> oh, cool. So what's in here? Yep. Cool. What is it? My food instructions. Ooh, bubble. Thank you. Hey, welcome. Is it got an on-off switch? It has a plug-in. Plug it into the wall plug and it works. Is it a incense thing or? Yeah. yeah fill it up with water and Aroma the diffuser. Water What's that? I've never used one. You've never used one? <laughs> what what flavor it? do we have? Aha. Uh -huh. Is this a movie? Yeah, you wanted to read the book so bad. I thought you might want to watch the movie. <laughs> movie is it? Fifty Shades of Grey. Movie that you probably won't want to watch. <laughs> I watched the movie it? last night. I know. I heard you, you and Randy talking about it. What? <laughs> I'm talking about watching it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Logan finger painted for you. Aww. How did he do that? With his fingers, probably. Yo, we'll turn it around and he'll under, you'll understand the question. <laughs> Here, let me see it. It's special paper. It, the, the color, I think, is in it, and it's wherever he puts the oh, magic paint on there. The it's paint. the paint that only goes on special paper. Oh. Let's see. So. That's supposed to be United States. I can't see it. Pull closer. It's abstract art. Where did it go? No, it didn't. It's on his arm. Cool. So my mom got me these two gifts. 
The love between a mother and a daughter is forever. That's a book to read. Believe you can and you are halfway there. And these are little stickies. It's really sweet. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. You're a great mama. A sexy mama. Thanks, baby. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you had an awesome Mother's Day. And we'll see you tomorrow. And we will catch you later. Say it. I was. I was lip syncing what you were saying. Because okay. I don't know why you're pointing the camera at me and not you. Well, just say catch, catch you, later, you later, handsome. Catch you later, handsome. No. <laughs> catch you later, beautiful. Happy Mother's Day, mothers.